with the Film Culture News, it's your boy Dre. The 2020 presidential election is officially over and after many long weeks of early voting and constant back and forth between both sides, Joe Biden is officially the president-elect of the United States. Throughout this election, communities and organizations galvanized to get people to the polls to vote. In addition to getting the new commander-in-chief, many strides have been made throughout the individual states. States such as Arizona, New Jersey, South Dakota, Montana, and Mississippi have all legalized some form of marijuana, while a record-breaking 90% of black youth in Atlanta voted for Joe Biden, which ultimately turned the state of Georgia blue. More than anything, we've seen the community come together during this time, and whether you were for change or not, black celebrities definitely were a part of the change that we saw on November 3rd. Rappers Offset and Common performed at a benefit concert in Atlanta for the Democratic candidates Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, an experience in which Offset said it was great being part of a peaceful rally with everybody having a good time and enjoying music by me and my guy Common. This performance came days after Offset was detained in Beverly Hills after driving through a Trump rally in which individuals began following and beating on his car. I'm not gonna move my hand from my steering wheel. You just let you know I am upset from the Migos. What are, they, they're, they're fans. That's why they following me, bro. I just watched. You just watched somebody beat my car with a flag. What are you talking about? You told me put my hands up. I'm not doing that. You put my hands up. It's 25,000 people in my life. You're going to get sued publicly. Other celebrities, such as Kerry Washington, Gabrielle Union, and Tracy Ellis Ross, have been using their social media platforms to encourage users to vote via funny videos, t-shirts, and their ties to their successful bodies of work to get folks to the poll. Olivia Pope cannot register to vote. Olivia Pope cannot vote early. Olivia Pope cannot call her friends and family and drive them to the polls. You can do that. Olivia Pope can vote early. Olivia Pope can vote early. Olivia Pope can vote early. You can do that. You can fix it. You are more powerful than she is. Initiatives such as Zoom Where It Happens is an entertainment cause that was created to encourage different demographics within our community to get out and exercise their right to vote. It is a Zoom series that recreated iconic television shows such as A Different World, 227, and Sanford and Son with a completely different cast. The series is produced by Stephanie Elaine and each showing featured a new cast of celebrities ranging from veterans such as Loretta Devine, Samuel L. Jackson, and Cedric the Entertainer, to athletes and artists like Dwayne Wade and Lil Yachty. Um, wouldn't you be happier if you just went out and found yourself a girlfriend? Kenu. Well, I have several and occasionally they go home. With many celebrities encouraging the community to get out and vote, specifically in favor of getting Trump out of office, there were also a handful who seemed to support 45's re-election. Among those celebrities include people like Lil Wayne, Ice Cube, and 50 Cent. Before the election took place, Lil Wayne posted to Twitter a photo of him and the current president with the caption reading, just had a great meeting with Donald Trump. Besides what he's done so far with criminal reform, the Platinum Plan is going to give the community real ownership. He listened to what we had to say today and assured that he will and can get it done. Other celebrities such as 50 Cent seem to side with Donald Trump because Biden will take too much money away from him via taxes. Even though the New York artist supports Trump's re-election, he wasn't for Lil Wayne's approval of the president in which he said, oh no Wayne, I would have never took this picture. Most notably before them, Ice Cube went out on a limb and met with Trump's campaign to discuss the contract with Black America, an initiative that was designed to start hard conversations. I thought it was important to, uh, to try to put all these issues in one document. Many people within the Black community disapproved of the stance that the aforementioned took. But as a group, we unified and voted for the candidate who will aid us in continuing to make change. As for the state of Georgia, don't forget that there's a runoff election taking place in January in which people are encouraging voters to elect Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff as members of the state senate. If you are a 17 year old who will be 18 by January 5th, 2021, you can vote in that election. December 7th is the deadline to register to vote. With the Film Culture News, it's your boy Dre. Be sure to follow the Film Culture to stay up to date on all things black culture. Peace. 
women who fought and sacrificed so much for equality and liberty and justice for all, including the black women who are often too often overlooked, but so often prove they are the backbone of our democracy.